thousand points of light. People don't want anything near them, even if it's something they believe in, something they think society needs, like prisons. Everybody wants more prisons. Everybody wants more prisons. I'm back, but clearly, I'm back with another reaction video. And uh, in this episode, I'm going to be watching a comedy video by George Carlin. And uh, as always, I'm super, super excited and I can't wait to see what it has in store for us. All that I know is that it's going to be hilarious. And uh, I'm hoping that you're going to take this journey with me all the way to the end of it. And as per usual, I'll be giving my comment at the end of it. So I hope to see you there. And uh, if this is the kind of content you're interested in, kindly consider to smash the subscribe button down below and be part of this uh, journey. So without further ado, let's get into the video by George Carlin and see what it's all about. And as always, remember to stick until the end. <laughs> From the 60s all the way into the 90s, this man has kept us laughing Ooh. with his unique brand of humor. Please welcome George. That's like 40 years. Wow. How you doing? Thank you. How you doing? Hey, Bye. nice to see you. Listen, <laughs> I'm here. I'm here to exploit this war. I'm here to exploit this war. War is good for business. Just take a look at the stock market. So I'm here to exploit it just like everybody else in this country. Best thing about this war, it's on every channel. <laughs> and every channel has a slightly different war. Do you notice that? If you don't like the way it's going on channel two, try channel nine. Maybe your side is winning over there. <laughs> And the ratings are good. The ratings are good for the war. We like war. We're good at it. We're a warlike people. This country is only 200 years old, and we average a major war every 20 years. 200 years old, 10 wars. Do the arithmetic yourself. Wow. We are a warlike people. We are perfect children of Europe. We're fort builders, land grabbers, and bomb throwers, folks. We're not happy. We're not happy unless we're dropping bombs on some helpless civilian population that has no argument with us whatsoever. No argument with us whatsoever. We are bomb throwers. And when we're not dropping high explosives, when we're not dropping high explosives on some small nation that only has a marginally effective air force, then we're declaring war on something at home. We love to declare war on something at home, don't we? Anything we don't like about ourselves, we have to declare war on it. We can't get rid of this war mentality from our public life. We got a war War on poverty, war on crime, war on cancer, war on litter, war on drugs. Do you ever notice we don't have a war on homelessness? No war on homelessness. You know why? Come to think of it. You know why? It's right. I'll tell you why. Because there's no money in it. There's no money in that problem. Nobody stands to get rich off of that problem. You find a solution to homelessness where the businessmen and the politicians can steal a couple of million dollars each, you'll see the streets of America begin to clear up pretty fast. I'll give you a couple ideas. Wow. He's so smart. I got a couple ideas for homelessness. First thing we ought to do, give the homeless their own magazine. <laughs> magazine. Give them their own magazine. That's a sure sign of making it in this country. Every group in this country that makes it gets its own magazine. They got <laughs> wow. Working Mother magazine, Black Entrepreneur magazine, Hispanic Business magazine. Wow. Any activity engaged in by more than four people in this country gets a magazine Is devoted to it. Dart throwing, backpacking, basket making, boating, hiking, walking. Walking! <laughs> There's actually wow. a magazine called Walking! <laughs> Look, Dan, the new walking is out. Here's a wow. good article putting one foot in front of the other. <laughs> da, 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 Given their da, own magazine. Da, da. You know, in their own magazine. You know what you call it? Better crates and cartons. <laughs> then when they get finished reading it, they can use it to line their clothing. Well, that's the kind of answer you'd get from a conservative American businessman. He'd say, yeah, let them read it. When they get finished reading it, they can use it to plug up the holes in them piano crates they live in. A good, practical, sound, American business conservative solution. I'll give you, I'll give you an idea about homelessness. First thing you got to do is change the name. It's not homelessness. It's houselessness. These people need houses. 
A home is an abstract idea, has to do with a setting, a state of mind. These people need physical, tangible structures. Low-cost housing. But well, where are you going to put it? Nobody wants you to build low-cost housing near their house. They don't want it near them. We got a thing in this country called NIMBY. N-I-M-B-Y. Not in my backyard. Ooh. That's what they call it. People wow. don't want anything near them, especially if it might help somebody else. They don't want any kind of social help located near them. They, you try to open up a halfway house. You try to open up a drug rehab center. You try to open up a little place for some retarded people who want to work their way into the community. People say, not in my backyard. They don't want it near them, especially if it might help somebody else. It's part of the great American spirit of generosity. Is you that can ask the American Indians truth? all about the great American spirit of generosity. If you need current information, try a black family. They'll help you figure out the great American generous spirit. These days we call it a thousand points of light. People don't want anything near them, even if it's something they believe in, something they think society needs, like prisons. Everybody wants more prisons. Everybody wants that. That's the new answer to all of our problems. Lock a lot of people up. People say, build more prisons, but not here. <laughs> well, why not? What's the problem? What would be wrong with having a prison in your neighborhood? It would seem to me like it would make it a pretty crime-free area, don't you think? <laughs> you think a lot of crackheads and pimps and street criminals are going to be hanging around in front of a prison? <laughs> no way, they're gone. What's wrong with these people? Very, very smart. I mean, all the prisoners are locked up, the criminals are behind the walls, and if a couple of them do break out, what do you think they're going to do? Hang around? No way. Check real estate? No way. They're gone. The whole idea of breaking out of prison is to get as far away as you possibly can. Not in my backyard. Well, I got an idea where we can put some low-cost housing. Golf courses. This is just what we With need. Low. Golf courses. Plenty of good land. By the way, come to think of it, golf courses, it's a very big land that is just used for golf. So I think that's a good idea. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section because come to think of it, that's a very, like golf courses have very huge lands themselves. So let me take it slightly back and uh, we recap from where we left and uh, enjoy. I mean, all the prisoners are locked up, the criminals are behind the walls, and if a couple of them do break out, what do you think they're gonna do? Hang around? No way. Check real estate? No way. They're gone. I love that. The whole idea of breaking out of prison is to get as far away as you possibly can. Not in my backyard. Well, I got an idea where we can put some low-cost housing. Uh -huh. Golf courses. This is just what we need. Golf courses. Plenty of good land. Plenty of good land and nice neighborhoods, land that's devoted now to a meaningless, mindless activity engaged in primarily by white, well-to-do male businessmen who use the game to make deals to get together to carve the country up a little finer among themselves. <laughs> Golf is an arrogant, an arrogant, elitist game, and it takes up entirely too much room in this country. <laughs> entirely too much room. Listen to me. You know how much room it takes up? 17,000 golf courses, about 150 acres each. That's 3 million acres. That's 4,800 square miles. Two Rhode Islands and a Delaware you could build for the homeless on the land that's currently devoted to this meaningless, mindless, arrogant, elitist, racist game. Racist game. Racist game. But I think that has I changed. It's time to reclaim that valuable land from the wealthy and turn it over to the homeless. You see, I have solutions. You know the only problem? No one ever calls. <laughs> Rarely get a call from Congress or a think tank. He should have been a Thank president. You all for Good night. I'll see you later. Sometimes I wonder why George Carlin never, never like vied for presidency or like into politics because uh, he's uh, so smart. I I consider him a genius. But I think regarding the golf courses when uh, he was saying about races and all that, I think now that has changed because uh, so many people, different races play golf and uh, it has become a thing for like uh, everyone that wants to, right? As much as it's still expensive, like in my country, playing golf is not cheap, it's expensive, but uh, people are going out and trying it and uh, yeah, so, but about the land, they're always huge, uh, yeah, definitely and very beautiful and all that so anyway thank you so much for watching this i hope you enjoyed it and uh, if you did kindly consider to show it some love give it a thumbs up and don't forget to drop a comment and share with me which was your best line in the comedy in the entire clip so drop it like drop a comment and share that 
and uh, let's have a conversation from there and uh, thank you so much for watching once again and uh, if it is your first time here welcome and feel right at home don't forget to smash the subscribe button and be part of this family and uh, if you'd love to be notified whenever i post a video which is every day consider to smash the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any episode going forward and last but not least if you'd love to support this channel you're welcome to do so all you need to do is check the description below where you'll find the link to my patron community as well as my paypal address and uh, you can as well have guaranteed requests through either platform so once again asanteni sana that is swahili for thank you so much for watching i wapenda sana swahili again for i love you so much and until next time take care of yourself be safe and for now peace out and uh, bye